Hi, Warren here, uh, back in Walcolmanoy. We're in the spray booth again in, uh, in the heart of the plant. There's a particular product I want to show you, which, uh, which has been around for years and years. It was designed by our colleagues in, uh, in the US many, many years ago. And it's, it's, it's a hard facing product. But instead of uh, being a, a, a powder product, which is what Walcolmanoy is probably known for, uh, in this particular case, it's actually a rod. Um, but it's actually made from powder. So we take uh, powder materials, we actually blend it with tungsten carbide, and we sinter it in our furnaces, so it's uh, vacuum furnace sintered, to, to, to make a solid rod. Now these are applied uh, best by gas, uh, oxyacetylene. They can be applied by, uh, by TIG, if you wish, but the best product is, or the best way is, uh, is with gas. And they're ideal for hard-facing um, components where either the user hasn't got any uh, thermal spray equipment because all you need is, is a big gas torch and a big oxyacetylene torch. You don't need powder, you don't need any special equipment at all. Uh, so if you're out in the field and you need to do repairs, running repairs, things like that, it's absolutely ideal. So it's great for the maintenance sort of application. But as this is blended with 50% uh, cast and crushed tungsten carbide, it makes a fantastic wear resistant coating. Uh, and of course, because it's applied primarily with gas, the tungsten carbides don't melt. So you have this archetypal two phase hard facing material. And when I say two phase, that's made up of a matrix, which is a little bit softer than the tungsten carbide, a little bit of ductility in it. Uh, and then you've got the hard tungsten carbide particles evenly distributed throughout that matrix to give good abrasion uh, and some impact uh, resistance. So it's really, uh, uh, the, the real benefit for it is in abrasive, fine particle, medium, coarse abrasive, high stress abrasion applications. Ideal applications for these uh, really are th 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 things like oil industry applications, downhole tools, Things that, 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 that really get uh, abraded away by moving mud, sand, uh, things like that. So we're talking about mixer blades, augers, mixer screws, that sort of thing. So down a whole drilling tools such as stabilizers, drill bits, steering pads, uh, or brick making industry. You might, you might be talking about the blades on muller pans that mix the, uh, mix the clay. Very, very abrasive applications. These things are absolutely ideal. And the great thing about these, they are so easy to use. All you need is a torch. I'm actually gonna use uh, a fuse welder. I won't be using any port, the, uh, any powder, the pot is empty. So I'm just using this because it's a nice big flame. And I'll show you how it works on there. It's just a simple, uh, sort of a brazing prod, well, technically correct. It's, it's a bronze welding type application. Okay, let's see how it works. As usual, we set a nice neutral flame. And then we give the component a free heat. same preheat as uh, I would for, for powder application, so I'm looking for about 300 degrees. And I would say we're just coming up on that now.
Okay, so that's pretty much it. It's as easy as that. The, the rod is literally melted onto the base material. You don't melt the base material. And we have a deposit there that's a couple of millimeters thick in one pass. You can put a little bit more on if you need to. Uh, and we've got something with 50% tungsten carbide in it. So it's great for abrasion resistant applications. Typical things, downhole tools, stabilizers, drill bits steering pads that sort of thing or uh, other industries such as the brick making industry muller pan scraper blades anything that's coming into uh, contact with clay or fine particle abrasion slurries that sort of thing it's it's a super product and as you can see it's so easy to use it works really well if you want any more details you want any more data just drop us a line you can get the email address at the bottom um, and we'll send out whatever you need. So if you need to know anything, just ask the question. Thanks for watching.